for Longwood. Now Patton in transition. He knocks down the three-pointer. Everybody knocking him in for the Blue Jays. He's his versatility and his ability to get, as you Marcus see, Foster. Marcus Foster playing above the rim. Patton, seven-foot guy, being able to see the court, very good vision. That's what you have to do, look at it as a learning experience. How about it? The lob from Watson to Patton. Gets out in transition or makes a miss, but look at the lob. Hashtag special delivery. Also, as Longwood gets it right to the bucket, but off the make, Patty Thomas answers for Creighton. Creighton has made six straight shots. 26-point lead for the Blue Jays. Square off, right? Yeah. Uh, so a couple of those teams will take unbeaten records into that mat matchup at every angle. Well, he just has one-on-one -on -one abilities to be able to attack the basket. But did you see that pass by Justin Patton? Thomas. Thomas. Creighton manages to get it, and Foster lets three fly. Marcus Foster. Foster is heating up. A couple of free throws, then a two-pointer, and now a three-pointer, all in three consecutive Offensive possessions for Creighton. Isaiah Walton tried to drive it in. Absolutely. Justin Patton. Well, he's getting it done on both ends, isn't he, Dickey? Look at the value of having a seven-foot guy that can get up and protect the rim and then run the floor. Hashtag boom. How about the drive to the bucket by Kobe Paris? Baseline drive and put the ball up there. Paris to the drive of the basket. These guys, knowing that he has to now accelerate the development of the young players. Great. Credit to Creighton as Mintz gets to the basket. Final minute of the contest. Scurry gets the roll. Second basket of the night for Jordan Scurry. Five seconds difference between the game clock and the shot clock as it ticks away. And Paris knocks down the 15-footer. Convincing in every way tonight as the Creighton Blue Jays move to 10-0 on the season. Six players in double figures for the Blue Jays. Foster and Thomas leading the way with 16 apiece. That'll do it from here in Omaha. Tonight's final score, 113 to 58. Stay tuned for more college basketball tomorrow on Fox. 13th ranked Xavier hosts Utah. Coverage starts at 5 p.m. Eastern. For Dickie Simpkins, I'm Vince Welch. Good night.